tell me, Minion, how progresses the project? It progresses wonderfully. Any problems? No. It's, it's abs absolutely lovely. You see, I've noticed by uh, dismantling the bodies of a user of every type of weapon that every hunter has the exact same bones on the inside. Pat myself on the shoulder for that one, really. And when will they be operational? Well, I have to give them some skin again because I sort of removed it all from them when they were alive. So, uh, give me at least uh, th two to three glupticks. Oh, so you can do it in five bye balls. Well, I'm just going to pat my shoulder because I think I can do that. You're a positive little minion, aren't you? I sure am. Unblinking. Never. Why don't you blink? Because when I do, I see images of my family that you slaughtered to get me here. Pat myself <laughs> on the back for not forgetting. <laughs> this is such a tragic character. This is not. This is too I don't like this. The last time I stopped smiling, you threatened to cut off my arm. Well, as I always say, evil is best done with a bit of joy in your heart. Now, one last question. Are you sure that this outfit will inspire fear into my enemies? Yeah, it'll inspire fear into your enemies. Please go spend a lot of time in front of big scary monsters like that. I just get the impression it might not... Like, it, it's going to inspire things, but not fear. It inspires me, fear. I, I'm pretty scared of you. Okay, but if I come back and there's not been any fear, I, I like that on 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 the chess piece. It seems like you've got the cutout shape of an ice cream cone. <laughs> what is what is what is this? <laughs> I notice you've it's been so awfully quiet over there, sunshine. <laughs>《ready to hunt》Ah, fantastic! I see already, bodyguard. Yeah, I can't believe that you managed to hire me all the way from the the base in uh, Astera. You do sound a bit familiar. Well, yeah, I, I, I mean, I, you look a bit familiar, but if you hadn't recognized me past that, I shouldn't elaborate. Remind me, what's your title? Uh, admiral. Admiral. Admirable. Your title is admirable. Ad admiral. Admirable. <laughs> admiral. Admirable. You're not. Name's just... Admiral. Admirable. You're not just the admiral in his true form or anything, are you? No, I'm I'm the regular admiral. Okay, you you keep your secrets as long as you keep me safe. Okay, Gandalf. <laughs> Heading to the destination. I need a doctor first. What? Why? This woman's passed out and she's been like this for so long. Maybe she's already dead. In which case, you don't need a doctor. You need a grave. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you can't be running carrying a seemingly unconscious person. Like, quick, somebody, please! I need a hole in the ground. So, are you just carrying a corpse? What? Yes! So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Cotton, cotton, cotton. I feel welcome, welcome. Okay, that helmet is... I mean, do, do you want me to go hunt the hobbitses? Like, I... What... What are you doing? Quickly, grab the back of my head like a handle and let's take off! <laughs> <laughs> so, this then... Yeah. You may recognize it. Yeah, I do. In fact, quite... Quite... Hot... Hot? Stormy. You don't know the difference between hot and stormy. Storms are I hot. Guess you can't have tropical storms. Humid. Storms are hot. Though so is it really humid if it's raining? That's true. Yes. In it's any case, you know what we're here for. It's our next exotic adventure, if you know what I mean. Uh. Behold! Amatsu! You both should not have come here. You both should have left it alone. Now know what happens to those that intrude on my throne. I'm at Sue, at you. I only got one thing to say to you. It's dawning, it's dawn warning. I got you all inspired. You got me yawning. You thought you could take this exotic, is that it? Your mom is pathetic, you can't get this. Look at me now. Wow. Oh, I'm bigger and better. I'm commanding the weather. I'm a real trendsetter, so I thought you were better. So go grab a sweater. I'm a better get better with F the only letter and no time for regrets. Ah, stop. Let's savor it. Take a little breath. I'll deliver you gently unto death. How are you doing? Oh, you, you've met before? Yeah. Oh, what? How? How did you meet? Uh, th this really weird meeting that I had with this 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 hunter friend that I that I hunt with. I I can't but notice that the man is trying to kill you though. So, is there some bad yeah. blood? Well, yeah. I mean, we killed them before the last time. You know. You've already you've killed. And also, it was you. Whoa! I love a good glowing chest. <laughs> Why every time I achieve something, do you hit me down? Oh my god! Look at him go! <laughs> I know how awesome is it! He's so pretty and happy and deathy! Anyway, 
Welcome to Frontier Amatsu and his big ball Whoa. of water! Big water ball. Good lord! That's pretty nice. I like some enhanced waterfication. It was very cool. Also, he seems just slightly more saturated. And I don't mean soggy wise. I mean, like. Yeah, the more orange, goldy this, like the flex are popping more. I, I get you. The flex are popping. He's flexing. <laughs> Yo, the flex are popping and I don't plan on stopping. You think people will buy that track? Like, yeah, that's, 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 that's music. Oh, the flex are popping, the popping. It's, it's, it's multi functional multi-genre i think it's even a i think there's even an opera cover why aren't more things covered in opera because opera's not really a cover genre yeah but imagine it'd be so cool to do it do it yourself why don't you know be the things you want to see in the world do opera <laughs> be the change you want to make make <laughs> opera covers of songs that don't need to be opera well take something be like live to win and you've got like <laughs> Like it's it's so. I think there's a market. Which one though? What, which market would you bring <laughs> that to? <laughs> well, you know, we'll start with one market, and then as we grow, we'll we'll move into other markets. Well, yeah. I mean, I guess it makes sense. You can't just like immediately start putting everything in every market that exists. It just does behind a little stall reach. on some street. <laughs> it's just a sign saying opera covers. So so far, he's got some cool attacks, but it's yeah. okay. It's a matsu, and we can yeah, handle a matsu. Good, matsu. All right, with you and your laser sword, geysers. me there's and my glass window. Moving. Why did he just move a bit closer but not actually do anything threatening? That, that was that, that was what surprised me earlier. Yeah, I what is that. happening here? Why we, we just had such a calm moment there, the three of us, just walking left and right, floating left and right, no violence. That was that was left amazing. And right, left and right, left and right. Lead. Oh god! Ow! I'm jumping. Ow! Uh, I got placed on the floor and then it I did. I got me. put in a geyser hole and then exploded. I've never realized before, but Amatsu has a lot of very Elephantine sound. Oh, yeah, I can, I can hear that. I was about to say, smell that for some reason. I can smell that. I can smell that. Elephant. It smells you got like the, elephant, the trunk. You know? It does. The trunk's I... basically it's, the trunk is a nose. A lot of people think the trunk is like a mouth, but it's a nose. Colin, do you have a, do you have an elephant in your room? Uh, no, no. If I did, we'd be talking about it. <laughs> I counted nothing. I, can, I counted nothing. I counted nothing. <laughs> You know the, the China Chocolate Factory end scene, the, you know, you get nothing! You know, that whole shtick. That just really is very Monster Hunter fireball. Just the guy that like, no, look, I you, I saw you use the animation, I saw the wind-up, I pressed the button, <laughs> and I, I counted it! You counted nothing, sir! You know you didn't! It says here, right here, in black and white, fine print, get good! It's just vibrating shit! The for some reason, the fact that he blinks during the animation Whoa. makes it really oh, hard to take awesome. seriously. That's so cool. But yeah, he's just what? vibrating up, charging up, staring at me, and then blink. <laughs> it's blink, just blink, blink, like, blink. okay, yeah, he's still got a moist in his eyes, I guess, while killing us. Well, he needs you to be sh be aware of the fact that it's like it's taking nothing out of him to do this. <laughs> I think so. Uh, big ball. Oh, ball. big ball, big ball, big ball. Oh! <laughs> Oh, come on! Follow-up ball! I counted the big ball, and I was so pleased, and then I got little splashed. Yeah, there's many balls in there. Oh, it's raw! It's very loud. Of all creatures, uh -oh. a Matsu deserves an on-the-floor grab your ears kind of raw. Oh, this was a bad, this was a bad decision. Oh, this was a bad, no! 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 I did it well, though, which is good well, for me. Well, I was mid-super attack, and then I got drowned. I now know what the cat feels like. Stop drowning cats. Look, man, it's a hobby. It's not a hobby if it kills people. Well, I only start with pre-drowned cats. Okay, well, that's fine then. Yeah, of course. You know how hard it is to get? It's, like, it's not a huge market. Well, no, me. but I imagine that you you might, maybe, the people filling that market might be only filling that market because you're requesting it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> supply and demand. <laughs> Poof is just sat next to me, staring at me. Like, why the I fuck are you like saying this? feel like he knows. <laughs> like, how fucking dare you? Father, is this true? <laughs> I'll drown you first if it, if it comes to it. See, the thing is, he's a little psychopath, and I totally believe he would drown me first. He, he, he really likes being around people, and he tries to aggressively get to people. And there was one time we left the door open by, like, a jar, like a tiny, tiny little crack. But it was enough for yeah, him to get his hand in. 
And then we just heard this like slight scratching sound. Look to the bottom of the door, and there's just his entire arm and paw just reaching round and like scratching up and down and just like pawing round the corner. Let me in. And it genuinely just looked like some sort of horror movie scene. Like just this creature's mm. arm reaching round, trying desperately to find a way into the room. It was it's unnerving. I had like heart palpitations. It's, it's just he's so scary. I think you need to bring your cat in for repairs. I am convinced that when no one's around, he transforms into like a two-legged little goblin demon, and we just don't see. And it plays by like Toy Story rules. And I, I just, I, I I'm oh, so yeah. scared. Just don't feed him after midnight. He has food twenty-four-seven. See, that's your mistake. You gotta take the food away he's after. Not midnight. a fucking Furby. He's a Furby. Yeah, he's a Furby. Okay, there we go. God, Furbies were creepy. They're so creepy. They're so creepy. Who thought that would be a good children's talk? Yeah, but they're all just marketable. Like, I'll be honest. We we fought Nagakuga, and he went uh -huh. mental and destroyed us. You we fought Gal Megala and Shagaru Megala, and he went mental and destroyed uh -huh. us. And so far, this is suspiciously relaxing. Okay. Yeah. Like, it, it's very cool. There's definitely some new attacks. It changes some things up. But um, it's just not crazy out the wazoo. What? Oh my god! Okay, I mean that's gorgeous. <laughs> Sorry, what what was it you were saying, Cotton? Can um, I what was it? What a little, I mean this is a little bit crazy out the wazoo, I'll be real with is you. Is it just me? Or is this the prettiest thing you've ever seen in Monster Hunter? Yeah, it's it's about ridiculously gorgeous levels of gorgeous. Look at him! The, what like, the shock hell? blue down the belly into yeah, the red and black it's fins. It's like a giant monarch. God. So this is a Matsu dragon mode. Okay. Water dragon be his thing and listen to him sing. <laughs> why you got why you got to do, like, he's this most beautiful, majestic creature, and you just gave him, like, a, a, a monkey gobble. Look, the more beautiful something is, oh, the God. stupider it's Oh, God, no, I don't want to get dragon sucked. Please, please. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ! Uh, okay, oh, gosh, okay, girl, this okay, this is fine, right? It's totally not gonna- Oh, my, this is amazing! Yeah. Look at the dragon tornado! Oh, he's doing another one. Why oh. do they go into it? <laughs> ah! Okay, ow! I'm sorry, but that's one of the most singularly impressive attacks I've ever seen. Yeah, even just the swirl- What, what are you aiming at? <laughs> what is he- What are you I, doing? Like, I just- What? Oh, he turned. <laughs> <laughs> like he went over there, fired a beam at no one, turned around, big dragon ball! Oh! Very! Okay. <laughs> oh my god, it makes giant dragon tornadoes. <laughs> it makes giant dragon water tornadoes! Ah, uh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. No, uh, no. Ah, no. Ah, uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no, the bath. Uh, more tornadoes. I love that. <laughs> Just the spinning. I like it when things spin. That's very funny. Like a Beyblade monster. I like Beyblade monster. It's a frilly Beyblade. Beyblade. I'm sorry, but it's Big not like a Matsu hurtles around in his tornado and then suddenly it's the Let's Beyblade! Let's Beyblade! Oh, it's, we're having something different happen now! As, as in not the not to jump into a tornado and run after him and then he roars thing four times in a row anymore. Oh, I was really excited. I was like, oh, is there a new attack coming? No, no. Not quite. Well, I'm gonna do my big attack. Oh! Oh, you did. You did your big attack. Yeah. It, it sure looks like you did. Because are we still being sucked in? By yeah, the way? we're still being sucked in. What is happening? This is What's bullshit. This mess of a Matsu that we just. <laughs> How have we caused this? <laughs> Apparently, it's off position is suction mode. Don't you hate it when your vacuum cleaner just won't stop? Oh, oh, what is this? What is this? Where, where are you going? Just what is going this? Places, gonna heal. A Matsu? Uh, that's gonna don't... be like a big game, Okay. Right? Yep, that's gonna be a big game. Oh, that, that was a big game. oh yeah! I think it's the It's a dragon water game. version of the classic uh, Amatsu uh, Super! Okay, okay, parry, dodge, parry, dodge, parry, dodge. Oh, that was awesome. Thank you, Amatsu. Amatsu, I'm open! I'm open! I'm going long! Catch! I'll catch! Ready. Come on! Come on, Amatsu! Me! Ah! Uh, no, no, me! Amatsu, ready. right here! I'm right here! Oh, God, yeah, the initial beam also hurts, not just the explosion. Yeah, the, the, of course the initial beam also hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, do you mean... <laughs> oh, Amatsu, why do you still draw breath? 
Please, draw something different! You can't do this many! Look, I need to practice. I don't know how to make Dreth look good, you know? It just it doesn't make sense to me. Like, broaden your horizons! Oh, come on, I can't parry three things within four seconds. Actually, well, maybe four seconds. But it was more like two and a half, so that's, that's just not enough. There is a mathematical limit, Amatsu, and you're disrespecting it! You're disrespecting my math limits. <laughs> I said that time asked it you, but he still failed me, so I don't think it quite works. Oh. Well, in some situations, the limits are put upon you for a reason. Ah! Ah! I don't know why I just cameoed a uh, amused vampire ah. for a second there. Ah! 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 One tornado! Please stop spamming attacks at me! Cotton! I got put from full to zero in so many hits, but I just didn't get to move. across multiple separate hits. I got put from it full was, to no yeah, health because I was, kept getting hit by it was, attacks. It was, a, it, was, it was a surprising number of attacks, but it was just relentlessly comboing. <laughs> I just, like, I get what you're saying, but I expected it to be like, oh, two hits. No, I got put from full health straight to no, dead it was, it took a over few. a period of time and multiple attacks. It, just, it took it took it took a lot of them, so I'm surprised that it was able to do so many without me being able to move. Okay, I got sword back. <laughs> Where did it go? I threw it over the side by accident. In anger. Throw a sword over the side in anger. In a matsu. Oh! oh knocked out of the throw. Okay. Why did it teleport? You can see us over there. Yes, yes, we were like, like, we were like it was definitely right, right in front of us like, what? when it died. What right? What? <laughs> it was right here. <laughs> Was it all a dream? <laughs> Did we imagine this? Was this corpse always this way? Oh, look how many birds are celebrating Amatsu's death. Can't blame them. Oh, look at the big circle rainbow. What are the trees doing? Thank you! We're clapping! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> well done, Hunters! Oh, well done! Yeah, look at the kill screen! You can see us two in the distance next to where Amatsu actually through. died. Like, it's not like we're over here lost and Amatsu took pity and had a heart attack in the center I of the arena. I shall now be running out of blood, I have decided. I've had fun. This is the end. Goodbye. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's words that I can't read. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh, I wish I could read. I wish I, I, w wish I could read. I wish read. I could read. I wish I could read. Oh, I just, it's so much effort. I never learned. I just don't want to learn. Oh, I wish I was a smart man. It felt like work, so I'm just illiterate. <laughs> the new subspecies. Brought to you by Frontier, Busty Rajan. It was bound to happen eventually. It was bound to happen eventually, guys. Don't act surprised. It was bound to happen eventually. Okay, it's the natural progression of things. All right, that's just that's just how I it just is. Think every, I just think everything should have cleavage. Rajang's like you mean like like objects as well? Because everything's everything. Like yeah, that ain't a box. God damn. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm putting, putting the handbrake on and reversing. We're not going down this road of pointing at <laughs> random things in Mesopotamia Square and applying cleavage. And putting boobs on it. I've often wondered, Umbrella Rill Arena, what would happen if you were to move about ten times quickly and we slowly leaned in towards your face with really climactic music? We have finally reached G rank 200, everybody, which means we can face the Zenith monsters, the ultimate and final challenge of Frontier. Ignore everything you've seen so far, because this is when it gets real. It's like somebody took a variant and a deviant and an extreme and a sub and a rare and a hardcore and origin and exotic and just mashed them all into more than made God. And then they did it 14, 20, however many there are times and made God monsters. Hello, God monster. For now, though, I'm gonna go look at Amatsu's stuff. Oh, yes, it's Amatsu's armor. With a lot of skills on it. What? Sharpness, expert, attack, artisan, and guts, and that's just the high rank version. God damn. Amatsu, for reference, was the final exotic to be added. Uh, that also makes sense. It, it's the highest technical tier one, I believe. Technically, Shagaru, you know, is, is Shagaru, but I, I believe Amatsu's a higher tier than Shagaru. Sorry, Shagaru. Oh, yeah, yeah, look, we have Zenith armor. No armor's available. Ooh. Well, that was really anticlimactic. Thanks, Blacksmith. Well, I'm glad, there. You, I'm glad you let me know about that and then just didn't. Okay. At least it's there. Yeah, no, cool. I'll, I'll go. I'll, However. What? There's also a weapon section. I was hoping that we might just get like a, a nice beginner weapon. Yes, a beginner weapon for a beginning ultra endgame. 
What happened to that apartment building? <laughs> Look, real estate here has gotten very cheap lately. Okay, if you're interested. Yeah, apparently we knocked down the whole building and replaced it with a singular tent. <laughs> I can put in a few words. I can give you give you a number to call. Okay. However, if you uh... this is this is a fucking bougie ass tent over here. Yeah, this is actually quite a nice this little tent. Have... Somebody's been throwing knives, I guess, and maybe why, we should leave. Why did somebody have a disagreement with this chalkboard? Not only that, like, they ripped it off the wall and then stabbed it. Like, <laughs> Multiple times. I feel like we just walked into a murder scene. Like, and this is what you gotta do to the monster. What's the forensic pod say, Jim? Well, there was a long struggle, multiple slash wounds. He ended up tumbling over to the side of the tent, as you can see, the deep gashes. Imprecise, frenzied. A bit of wood split it off the top, clearly a sign of unparalleled rage. And just to finish it off, they left the knife deep in the heart of the chalkboard. This is a chalkboard, right? And then they put this doily half off of this box. Those savages! Who leaves the doily half off a table? That's not the purpose of such an item. I hope you catch them. God damn it. I'm taking this fruit basket as payment for our investigation. Um, the fruit basket wants to talk to me. Never mind, it's the bed. The fruit basket? Sorry, the all of that was insane. The fruit basket wants to talk to me. Oh, no, sorry. I'm just being silly. The bed wants to talk to me. Crazy dragon monsters. I thought I'd sh share with you a classic crazy dragon monster and how it was dealt with in Frontier. Careful of the... Uh, double Joe! Okay. Yes, careful okay. of the double Joe. That's, you, you that's know, a lot got, of... That's a, you got it. You got why it, does he it. just have a multi-spin breath attack? I don't know. So this is... Also, I don't know what this map savage is. Joe, it's really cool. Tiny Savage Joe. Yeah, this is one of the arena maps in Frontier. It's really awesome. Just like a battle on a hill. Oh, God, I'm pinned. I'm pinned. No. That's not good for no. you. No. Why is he just hovering? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude. He hadn't decided Dude, how I... he wanted to eat you yet. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> okay. What? Um... This is a lot of damage, generally speaking. Yeah, Devil I'm Joe finding. didn't mess around as an exotic. Why did that Devil Joe just teleport into the arena? And why was he out of the arena to begin Don't with? Don't ask what I've been doing with him while you're gone. I'm pinned, I'm pinned, I'm pinned! I'm being beaten! Oh yeah, look, he's just looking at you! He's just oh looking god, at you! Oh god, my health is so it. fast! It. Don't get oh. oh! I cannot fill that bar within the timer before I die. <laughs> yeah, oh, so... Health. Devil Joe, Savage Devil Joe in Frontier got a pin, and it's ridiculous. It's one of the most aggressively threatening pins in in the game, Holy as I understand. <laughs> but why? He's Devil Joe, man. He eats you. Oh, dude, you left a shiny when you died. Oh, cool. What's what did that? you drop? What are... Probably Cotton Tear. I want to know they what Cotton different... left behind. Okay, I'm grabbing it. Did the big one and the little one have a slightly different move set, or am I just imagining that? Devil Joe Ripper. Cotton, why did you leave a Devil Joe Ripper on the ground? Oh, well, I, I took one out with my body. <laughs> he left a tooth in me. What can he, I say? He was eating me, and he did it so viciously that he lost a part of his own mouth through no good will of my own. Well, we basically have until the next one was good. I'm being eaten again. Can you just on the side? Oh! Oh! I appreciate the assistance. Ah! Hey, man. <laughs> So how do you like Devil Joe in Frontier? I don't know that anything needs a pin that you can't really get out of before you die. But the rest of it's pretty cool so far. I do love, because of how the UI is and the translation and everything, that the top left of our screen is just forever Breed Day. Every day is Breed Day in Mesoporta, the city that never sleeps. The city that never stops. Beep. Did you know the Mesopotan population has grown faster than any other monster in a community? Scientists are baffled. We think it's the bunny suits that we keep giving people. We're taking them to heart. <laughs> I think it has a lot to do with the local smithy and his choice in armor aesthetic. <laughs> Alright guys, that is exotic Amatsu and a taste of Devil Joe tasting us. You had a really big taste. A really huge taste. A thorough one. Like, yeah, complete. He finished the meal. Like, he, Devil Joe is the kind of kind of guy, kind of brute wyvern, that would go to a wine tasting session, instead of having a sip, swirling, kind of spitting, he'd just down the glass. And everyone would look at him like, seriously, dude? He would just down the glass. And then he'd down the next person's glass, and then he'd eat that the person. I don't see the problem with that. I don't see the problem with any of that. That's how I would be at a wine tasting. Actually, to be fair, that's probably hilarious to do. Like, you, you, it's incredibly bad form. You have, like, one mouthful, right? You, you taste it, you spit it out, you refresh with right. water is, is how it goes. Like, what would they do if you just... <laughs> they just look at you like you've just slapped them. <laughs> like, another! Give me another! <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I got the right flavor notes from that one. Give me another one.
You know what? I'm in charge of this tour now. <laughs> I'm the wine now. Whoa, wine. Anyway, what are your words for exotic Matsu? That was Stormy. I'm going to go with most gorgeous dragon. I feel like you might have used those three before. Okay, fine. Most dear gorgeous dear dragon. It'd be like gorgeous storm dragon, you know, make it at least a little personalized. Okay, all right. Big, exciting wave. I guess there's a wave. That's true. Okay, big, exciting wave. In any case, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. Please consider supporting the future channel on Patreon down below. And look forward to next time where we begin the Zeniths. Zeniths. Mr. Porter. Oh, God. Bye. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is. Uh, goodbye.